During this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to convert a spreadsheet used for engineering calculations into a web application using ESA. The resulting web app could be deployed over your corporate network to users within your company, or alternatively could be published via a cloud server to your company's partners or customers. We'll start by examining our template Excel spreadsheet. It essentially is a calculator to help in the design of a Satroware typically used for flow measurement in water management applications. It consists of a data input section, a data output section, an output table, an output chart, and also an about sheet which gives some information on the spreadsheet. Let's now build a fully functional web application which uses this spreadsheet as a logic engine. First, we log into an account. Here, I'm using ESA's default authentication system, but note that many of our customers integrate ESA with a third-party authentication system, such as LDAP. Also note that the look and feel of the ESA pages can also be customized to your company's brand. We now set the mode to authoring, and then go to the Create button under the Applications tab. New tab, then click the Create button. Using the new application wizard, we will set the parameters of the application. We will title it Satra Wear Design. Set the category to Fluids and Heat Transfer. and we'll go ahead and set an image that represents the application. This will help users find the app in your company's app store if you have many apps published. Here we will use the Excel range wizard Now we will simply select the parts in the spreadsheet to be exposed in the web app. Note that there's no need to hide cells and formulas in order to protect the spreadsheet because we no longer need to distribute it as an Excel file. Making multiple selections allows for rearrangement of the user interface later. This opens the ESAP Builder. ESAP Builder is one of the main tools within ESA that enables the creation of applications without coding. As you can see, it consists of a tree with objects on the left and associated parameters on the right. All we need to do to build a fully functional application is to create various objects and then populate their parameters. There is no coding involved. Here we can see that the cell range wizard has created the majority of objects that we will need. A quick test will show us that we have a web application and exactly mirrors the functionality of the spreadsheet. Also notice that you cannot click on output cells or see any of the formula or any of the underlying function of the spreadsheet. This allows your intellectual property to be completely secured even if there will be hundreds of users of this app inside or outside your company. Once the app is published, users can open it, make changes and save instances, and share results with other users if desired. So ESA can help you collaborate with colleagues. We could go ahead and publish our app as it is, or we can make some improvements. Now without changing the template spreadsheet, we can make our app more intuitive for our user audience. The multiple selections from earlier each generated a sub-pane, which can now be rearranged into nested tab panes, which will make the app more usable, especially for users on tablets and mobile devices. Once we have our nested tab panes created, we can simply drag and drop our sub panes into the tab panes.
Refreshing the web page will show us what the application will look like to end users. As you can see, the nested tab panes have been created for the table and for the chart. Now let's run the wizard again and import the second tab. In this case, we will convert the About sheet, which is simply some text describing the function of this tool. Looking at the Builder shows us that the Range Wizard has created a new About tab. And once again, refreshing the web page will show us what the end users will see. Once we are finished authoring our web application, we can then go back to ESA and publish it out to the users. We do this by clicking on the Authoring tab, selecting the Publish tab, and then click Publish. Now, if your template spreadsheet is updated, for example with new formulae or new choice lists, then all you have to do is upload the new spreadsheets and do a minor revision. Here we see the history of your app, allowing for version control throughout your app's lifecycle. Any users whose credentials permit will be able to see the application under the category or categories which we selected earlier, and they will be able to run the application. Submit the application. And also see the results. And even share results with other users in their user group. Please note that while this particular app uses only a spreadsheet as its logic engine, you are not limited to the capabilities of Excel any longer. Because ESA enables the deployment of true enterprise apps, you can do things like adding a database object. This enables you to integrate your web app with other enterprise systems such as PLM or CRM platforms. Thank you for watching.